don't understand. Because personal convictions are a different thing than like what is written in the Bible of what is inherently sinful. And I get what you're saying, but yeah, but I you think... can't have a personal conviction that God told you to like go suck a random stranger's dick, no, right? You couldn't have you that convention. Have that. Be... Let's do the bow video. Let's play the bow video. This is um, this is my ex girlfriend. We broke up, but I filmed this. Go ahead, Nick, in my apartment. Boom. Boom! Huge bow. Check that out. She practiced that. Wait, uh, that's your ex-girlfriend? That's my ex-girlfriend, yeah. Um, I had her, um, uh, yeah, so that's my, you know, she's getting my, my clothes, laundry. The dinner's ready. I came home, look, I came home from a long day of podcasting, and she's got my beer ready. Um, I was upset with her that, with the tomatoes, I don't like tomatoes, but she... <laughs> Not even cut to me, just a to, like bunch of tomatoes. Uh, one more time, just see. Let's see the bow. The bow. The so bow. Boom! Yes. Huge. You're you're gonna die, Brian. How after I, wait, why am I gonna die? After the last <laughs> podcast, remember I did a bow for everybody on stream. Actually, I want to go home. I did I it remember. recently to a guy. <laughs> How did it go? How did it go? <laughs> he laughed and he's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> did it work? Well, I mean, he laughed. But I did it wrong. You said I did it like... No, you don't do it. It has to be like meek hands here. Like, like a prison like pose. Angelic right now. Yeah. Submissive and bow. Like submissive. Hands. I don't know. It came like as an instinct. I just did it. He was like, what, what are you doing? Ha- yeah, and so did he like it? I mean, he did not like it. Oh, wait. I guess he liked it probably. See, it works. It worked. <laughs> Listen, all the ladies here at the table, you might not want to do it. I'm just... Giving you some advice. Next time you're with a guy who you really like, just hit him with a bow. <laughs> oh well. That's soon as I no? land in Dallas. Not a, not a bow? Won't do the bow? No, I'm not gonna do the bow. Why don't why won't you do a bow? It's degrading. No bow? Wait, hold on. No, if a man is paying for the degrading. house, pays for everything, and just expects a little bow when he gets home. And he pays for everything, he makes you secure, you do not have to work, you do not do shit in the house. He you does know, everything. Wait, what you, does the you, bow wait, do I, for I, you? Oh, that like making dinner wouldn't do for you. Like oh, she has to do that too. Uh, and what's the difference uh, between bowing and getting on your knees? A lot. You can be on your knees. You can clear to see for that man as well. What's the difference? Get your mind out of the gutter, okay, Nicolette. Okay. So, uh, really quick to you, uh, you I think in your pre-show notes you mentioned like you believe marriage is really important, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I know there's like a cu- cultural component here, uh, but uh, I assume you want your future boyfriend to propose to you. Yeah. Will this involve him getting down on one knee? If he wants to, yeah. Well, typically that's what typically, men do, right? Typically, yeah. It's Isn't getting da- like getting down on a knee and like looking up? Hold on. Where's the? Where is it? Where we <laughs> Please, <laughs> marry me. <laughs> <laughs> that wait. What was the word you use? It's degrading. Did you say degrading? Was it degrading? For women to bow to a man, yes. I think it's degrading for men to get down on one knee and spend three months' salary on a, on a wedding ring. Please um, be with me. <laughs> That's degrading. Disagree. Hold Here's on. why. Wait, wait. Hold on. But what takes more, like, what burns more calories, kneeling or the bow? It doesn't matter what burns. <laughs> Just think about it, though. It takes more effort. To, to kneel. I, I think, have bad knees too. I think a bow. I got bad knees. I think a bow is more like worship. Like when I think of a bow, I think I'm worshiping this person. What's wrong? You with- are. It is your partner for the rest of your life till you die. Him. The only person I, I worship and will bow know. before is God and my God in heaven. Like I'm not going to bow before anybody else. No man, no person. Just it's a God. religious thing, but I will wait, say. Wait, hold on. But wait. You do not. Adore if your husband. You're going to be submissive to your husband, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And he says, bow for me. (laughs) If you look at the context of the scripture, if you're going to go there, and you have a husband that is telling you to do something that is against (laughs) the will of God. I'm a Christian, and I would bow. You do not have to do that. Uh, Andrew, what is the uh, ecclesiastical, theological... um, like, can a Christian man ask his wife expect ask his wife to bow? Is it? Is it? Yeah, of course. I mean, so why would they, well, I don't understand what would the restriction be? There's Christians who bow uh, to their priests, Christians who bow to God. Now, I, I just have to ask you: Are you two 
uh, submit to your husband as you would unto God. Yeah. And do you bow to God? Yes, I bow to God, but my okay, husband so is not Okay, so then if you God. submit to your husband as you would unto God, and your husband asks you to bow, why would you, why would you not bow? Because uh, in my opinion, I think bowing is more of a like, worship type of, of movement, of like a, a po- heart posture, than it is more respect. Like, I get where you guys are coming from. Like, it's a sign you mean, of respect, well, wait, but wait, I don't I'm, think I'm it's so, a sign I'm of respect. I'm super confused. I, I want to untangle these thoughts okay. so I have them untangled. Are you to submit to your husband as you would unto the Lord? My husband is not my God. But I That's submit. That's not what I asked I, you. Let me, Are let you me to explain submit my, as let you me, would unto the Lord. Let me explain my thought on this. Okay. When you submit to the Lord, you're submitting to His will and what God is telling you to do, right? Like that's what mm-hmm. you're referring like to. Like if He tells you to bow, are you going to bow? To God, yes. There's nothing. Okay. That God well, then would I don't understand. Do. Are you to submit to your husband as you would unto the Lord or not? Yes, but my husband okay. is sinful, and if he asks me to do a sinful thing, why is it? I will it's not, not sinful it. to bow to your husband. So Asian Christians who bow are sinful. I would say that's more cultural. I'm talking about bowing. Well, in then, my, then it's not sinful. In another, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Hang on, hang on. So again, we have to untangle these thoughts. If you're in an Asian country and you murder somebody, you kill somebody without justification to your Christian values, they're doing something which is sinful, even if. Their culture says it's okay, correct? No, I don't, I don't agree what? with that. What? So if their culture says it's okay to murder, it's not sinful? No, sorry. I'm, you're like losing me in this. Like, okay, well then, then just, just engage with the question. What you're doing is trying to anticipate what you think I'm going to say. Don't do that. Just answer the question. In a culture where it's okay to murder, the Aztecs, for instance, they take you up on a pyramid, they cut your heart out, right, and give it to, the, you know, their sun god. Yeah, yeah. From your, even if culturally that's okay, you would say that ethically that is incorrect, right? Yeah. Okay, great. So if that is the case, when you say, okay, it's culturally okay to bow, you're also saying, but it's not sinful to bow. You're not saying that they shouldn't bow because it's sinful, right? Right. Because okay, there's so nothing inherently... Okay, so if that is the case, then bowing in and of itself is not sinful. Yeah, I would agree bowing in and of itself is not sinful. For then what's me, wrong with bowing and, to your husband? Well, because if I'm talking about personally for myself, I view in my own culture, in my own tradition, I view bowing, like I, I myself reserve that only for the Lord. So if Yeah, someone, but is it sinful? Inherently, no. I don't think it's Okay, well then, then I don't understand the objection. If it's not sinful inherently, it's no problem inherently, and your husband asks you as a sign of respect to bow to him, what is the actual objection other than you just don't want to? Yeah, I mean, I guess you're right. That is my objection is that into me and my own view that it is sinful for me to bow to another man. And no, 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 that, so you just, you, you can know, have you just fuck the whole thing up. For yourself. How yes, is you it, can. Uh, wait, no, that makes no sense. That makes it. no sense. Yes, How could it be sinful from your perspective to do this thing? How's that sinful? Because there's a verse that says in James that he who knows what to do but does not do it to him, it is a sin. And so to me and my own personal convictions, like I don't feel like it's appropriate for me to bow to someone else that's not God. And someone else's yeah, appropriate, culture. Appropriate, I can see. I can concede to appropriate. If you feel like it's not appropriate to do, I can deal with that. But you, that's not what you said. You said personally you feel it's sinful. And yet if you say, if, if you say bowing is inherently not sinful... Then what is the sin if you bow to your husband? I don't get that. I'm telling you, there's a verse in the Bible that says that if you know that God wants you to do something and you do not do it, then to that person, it is a sin. If I know God wants me to go tell this homeless person or to go give this homeless person $10 in the street and I don't go do it, I have committed a sin against God. That is what Are I'm you saying about. that God doesn't want you to bow to your husband? For me, yeah. Is it not in your vows okay, well, how to do you, obey and respect? No, no, man? I can't. I can't. I can, I'm I can sorry. I got to finish this real quick. To my husband in my when you say for me, so you're saying God told you not to bow to your husband? Yeah, God told me only to bow to him. Yeah, when? We're in the same culture, so would it be a sin if I bowed down to my husband in your eyes? Yeah, I, well, I just want to know, when when did God tell you not to bow to your husband? When was that conversation had? Oh, well, when I read the book of Daniel and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, we're going to bow down to, or weren't bowing down to the big idol that Nebuchadnezzar made. That's and, not an idol. 
Your husband's not an idol. You're not worshiping your husband like you worship God. You're submitting as you would unto God. Yeah, and for me, in my like past sinful, like when I was in unrepentant, blatant sin, I worshipped the person that I was with like an idol. And so for me, I'm yeah, but really that's not worship. That. How is a bowel worship? That's not worshiping. Because I bow before the Lord, and that is the only person I will bow down before. And so for me, why I won't that bow. makes no sense? So if you bow to a king in Europe, that's sinful. Yeah, for me, yeah. Oh, so the, does the Bible has has God made kings elect? Has he said, has he given nations kings? I'm not saying that it is inherently sinful for every person to sin. I personally feel convicted. It's not that sinful if I for every to person another, to sin. Really? I'm talking about for like specifically for bowing, like for this specific thing. I will not bow before any other man besides God. I get what you're saying, and that it's not written in the Bible. Yeah, but I don't do get what bow. you're saying. Well, I'm, I don't understand the rationale I'm, here. I'm trying to explain to you my own personal convictions. You don't understand the difference between personal convictions and inherent sin. That's yeah, but out. your personal convictions are supposed to map onto Christian ethics. And if you say there's nothing unethical for a Christian to bow to somebody or to bow to their husband if they choose to bow to their husband, then and because you I think then that. stated your secondary objection is the reason I don't is because God told me these are two very bold claims. The first is saying this is not sinful, but for some reason for you it's sinful. And that, that's what I don't understand. Because personal convictions are a different thing than like what is written in the Bible of what is inherently sinful. And I get what you're saying, but Yeah, but I you think... can't have a personal conviction that God told you to like go suck a random stranger's dick, no, right? You couldn't have you that conviction. Have that. Be... Why because couldn't you have that baseline. conviction? Because there's a baseline of what is sinful. You're right, there's a baseline. So yeah. it has to be inherently sinful also. Right? It, there, there, so there's, it, it, and if you say it's not inherently sinful, then why did God convict you personally? You're the only person he convicted to not bow? I don't know what other people's convictions are, but what I more, like, in my We're opinion, talking about your I'm, convictions. Yeah, I'm talking about my convictions here, and because I have a tendency to worship people that I'm in a relationship with, I don't feel comfortable bowing to that person. I don't think that's appropriate for me to engage in because yeah, I feel like... Yeah, appropriate's different than sinful, though. Okay. What would make it sinful? I, I'm not saying, I'm saying for me, I would feel like I'm going against God if I did this. For another person, like Laura over here, if she wanted to do that for her husband, I would, I'm not but saying that's as sinful. As a Christian, you get married in the church, right? And then the mm -hmm. priests say to obey and to respect your husband. Yeah, of course. So if your husband asked you to bow, to obey him, mm -hmm. and you wouldn't, that's a sin, right? Because you took a vow. Not necessarily, because my husband would know my convictions and like... But you took a vow in church in front of God to obey. Hey, keep on saying this, this bizarre, my convictions thing, right? So your convictions are still going to have to be inherently or non-inherently uh, they uh, sin sinful. The they're going to have yeah. to be, they're going to have to be sinful. How would you, if you went home tomorrow and you're like, hi, sweetheart, I just wanted to show you this sign of respect and bow to him. How in the fuck would that ever be sinful? It's it's not inherently sinful. I'm that's what I'm agreeing with you. That's why I like I'm not saying that no one can ever. But I mean, even this. from your view of conviction, how would that be sinful? And you promise the church because it's obey setting up my heart posture to worship somebody else. That's what I'm saying. Is that how like, are you worshiping them? Because like this is like my natural proclivity, my natural tendencies, and so I'm guarding my own heart by not bowing to this person. So anything you bow to, you worship. <laughs> Like you can't help yourself. You're just like no, I have an addiction to worshiping that which I bow to. Or no, I, how often do you bow to things? I'm talking specifically about to my husband. Like that's what I'm specifically referencing. Yeah, I don't. I, I still. I'm, I'm still lost. Actually, I. Um, I don't really understand why you bowing to your husband. Even if you had some conviction that you did not want to worship your husband as God, which is totally fair. I don't understand why it would mean if you did bow to him, you would be worshiping him. It even doesn't if you were mean that. Not I just wouldn't him. do it because it's like, it's a, my heart posture. It's like affecting the way that I view this person. That's why I wouldn't do it. You asked why I wouldn't do it. And that's the, that's the reason it affects the yeah, way. Yeah, but I, I mean, it has person. to comply with reason and also the ethics, which you follow. So it's like just saying, well, because it's my preference, like that's fine. But, but if, so I, let me just ask you this. If you went home tomorrow and you bowed to your husband, 
Uh, w- would you start worshiping him? Would that, no. uh, would that be like an immediate thing? Or? No, but I wouldn't. It's not something I would make as a part of my everyday life where he comes home and I bow to him the second he walks in through the house every single yeah, day. Yeah, but, but why would that? I, I still understand why that would necessitate you would need to worship him. I just, I don't get that. If part. I was doing that every day, I think that would kind of like trigger like almost like Pavlov's dog's effect in my mind of here comes home this person. I'm waiting for him to come home and I'm serving him and I'm worshiping him like every you single mean, day. You mean, well, wait, wait, serving him. Well, serving You're him showing is fine, respect to him. I'm you adore him. About, you love him. How is that yeah. worshiping him, though? I don't. I don't get that. I'm talking about specifically bowing. That's what I'm specifically. Yeah, I'm talking specifically about bowing too. Mm-hmm. Andrew, do you have a lint roller, please? Yeah, I do. No, Andrew, <laughs> I, mean, I just wanted to trigger oh, no. that OCD a little bit. Wait, are we gonna do a Rachel cameo? By the way, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll bring Rachel down. Okay. Uh, yeah. Does she have that pink, the the pink neon pink sweatshirt? <laughs> yeah, I'll go. I'll get her. We'll we'll uh, we'll switch yeah. chairs here for a few. Yeah. Um, now, uh, 